Open your science textbooks and come on page six, please. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. Today, my topic of discussion is uh, taking measurements, and then we will discuss about mass, how to measure the mass, temperature, and time. And inshallah, at the end of this lecture, you will be able to know how can we measure mass, temperature, and time. Before starting our today's lecture, let's recall our previous lecture. So, Previously, we were talking about the measurement of two different substances. Now, also we discussed there the laboratory safety rules. So who will tell me about the two laboratory safety rules? Okay. And I will ask this question from Sarim Shahab. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, where the lab coat, wear your goggles and your shoes. Wear your lab coat, yes. Uh, wear your goggles, safety shoes, and do not touch any apparatus or chemical without permission. And the second one is wear goggles, gloves, and lab coat while doing any experiment. Okay, name two instruments to measure the length. Name two instruments to measure the length. And I will ask this question from <laughs> Ahmad Sayyid. <laughs> yes, Jawad Nabid will answer this. Yes. Sir, it's ruler, ruler or tape measure. Ruler and tape measures. Ruler and tape measure. Okay, very good. Come towards the third question. What are the unit of length? Or what are the units of length? I will ask this question from, wait a minute. Harish Shahzad will answer this. Harish Shahzad. Okay, sir. Millimeter, centimeters, kilometer, and meters. Very nice. Uh, meters, millimeters, centimeters, and kilometers. Okay. Thank These are the units that are used for measuring the Length. Okay. Very good. But not, not liter. Liter is used for volume, not for length. Okay. <laughs> Who will define volume? Uh, Muhammad Ibrahim Imran will Can I define volume. Sir, volume is the sp um. Yes, you are correct. Volume is the Space, space occupied, occupied by an object. Volume is the space occupied by an object. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, sir. How can we measure the volume of an even shaped object? Sanaullah will answer this. Sanaullah. Yes, sir. How can we measure the volume of an even shaped object? Sir, we uh, can find found by multiplying its length by width, height, and uh, length. Very good, very nice. Uh, we can find the volume of an even shaped object by a formula that equals to length multiplied by width multiplied by height. Very good, very okay, nice. Sir. Okay, now come towards the next question. How can we measure the volume of a liquid? Yes, I will ask this question from. Yes, I will ask this question from. Haris Shahzad. Haris Shahzad, will you answer okay, this? Sir. We can How measure can we the find volume of a liquid by measuring or graduated calendars. Yes, we, we use a graduated uh, cylinder or measuring cylinder for that for fun. We can okay. measure the volume of liquid by measuring our graduated cylinders. Very good. Okay, now come towards our today's uh, topic, uh, taking measurements, mass, temperature, and time. Okay? 
today we will discuss about how to measure the mass temperature and time so the first thing is mass okay uh, first of all we will define mass what is mass mass is the quantity or the amount of matter inside something or inside material okay mass is the amount of matter okay that something contains okay each and everything contains mass and that mass would be considered the amount of matter there is each and everything you will observe that that have certain weight so the weight is the product of mass and gravitational pull or gravitational acceleration so each and every object contains certain amount of matter and that is what so called the mass of that object or that material is now what is matter we are discussing about uh, that the amount of matter so what is matter matter is defined as anything that has a mass and that occupies space is called matter each and everything around you you will observe that uh, there are uh, they have some mass and they were occupying some spaces were there so such things are what so called what they were so called matter okay such materials were so called matter mass can be calculated by weighing scale or a balance okay you can clearly see these are the different photographs of measuring instruments okay all these instruments are used for measuring mass okay mass can be calculated by weighing scale or balance okay these are what so called weighing scales and this is what so called a balance where at what side one side you put the mass of the object and on the other side you are putting some weights over there and you have to balance them that will gives you an idea about the mass of that object is the most common unit for measuring the mass are grams and kilograms grams are the smallest unit and kilograms are the largest units a gram is very light okay it is very smaller unit this item weigh approximately 1 gram you can clearly see that this is what so called paper pen or a pen lead or a piece of chewing gum so these are very very smaller okay and they have very less mass so you can measure them in grams on the other side you can clearly see here a kilogram is in 1 kilogram there are 1000 grams okay in 1 kilogram there are 1000 grams so these items weigh approximately 1 kilogram you can take if you go to the shop or if you go to the grocery shop then you can see that they were using the kilogram unit because these items are quite bigger than that of these items okay so if you find the mass of a smaller object you will use gram but if you use uh, or if you find the mass of some larger quantities then you can use the kilograms or kilogram yes okay so mass this is your book page 6 okay mass is the amount of matter in something have and the mass of something can be found by using weighing scale are balance okay these are the weighing scale are electric balance and this is what so called the weighing scale okay so you can use both of them for finding the mass of that object is and the unit they were using there are the unit that used there uh, in such devices are grams and kilograms come towards the fourth quantity how to measure the temperature or uh, what is the temperature so temperature is defined as how hot or cold something 
is. Okay. Temperature means how hot or cold something is. Or it can be defined as the degree of hardness or coldness of the body is called temperature. Okay. Temperature, how we can define the temperature is? Yes, come on. Who will tell me? Sir, by using thermometer. Well, how we define temperature? Sir, temperature means how hot or cold something is. Very good. Very nice. Temperature defined as how hot or cold something is. That is also called the temperature. Okay. And how we can find the temperature? By using thermometer. Thermometer. Yes, by using thermometer. Thermometer will tell us about the temperature of an object. Okay. There are three different scales used in thermometer. The first one is so-called Kelvin scale. Okay. It is represented by K. And the second that is most prominent are used uh, in most of the thermometers and that is also called degree Celsius. And it is also called degree centigrade. Okay. The third one that is what's so called Fahrenheit and it symbol is F and this is also used in thermometers. Okay. So these are the three different units that were used there or they were using there in thermometers. Okay, Kelvin scale, degree Celsius scale, and degree Fahrenheit scale. Sir, what is the difference between these? The, uh, they have some uh, different values uh, because the Kelvin will start from 273 and it will end at 373 degrees centigrade. And at the degree Celsius that are used there in thermometers that start from zero degree centigrade and it will end at 100 degree centigrade. And the Fahrenheit will start from 12 and it will uh, 30, uh, 32 and it will end at 212 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. So these are some different scales used in different, different parts of the world. Okay. In different parts of the world, different scales are used. There are different units are used there. Okay. Okay. So on Celsius scale, water freezes at zero degree centigrade and it boils at 100 degree centigrade. Okay. So uh, as I told you earlier that the degree centigrade are the degree um, Celsius scales, we were using zero to 100 mark there. Okay. Because the zero degree centigrade is the freezing point of water and 100 degree centigrade is the boiling point of that water is. Now come towards the absolute zero again. Uh, in our first lecture, I told you briefly about the absolute zero. Okay, so anybody of you who have the courage to repeat that sentences, uh, or who have to share his idea about the absolute zero degree, uh, absolute zero temperature. So anybody of you who will answer this, come on, please. Yes. Who will define the absolute zero? If you remember, I explained this thing at the start of uh, your session, okay, in our first lecture that uh, who is working, Lord Kelvin is working on the absolute zero temperature or the lowest possible temperature. The lowest limit of the thermal dimension. The lowest the possible, lowest possible temperature, temperature that can be measured is what so called absolute zero. Okay. The lowest possible temperature is what so called absolute zero. Absolute zero is the temperature at which the atoms or molecules has no heat energy. Or in other words, we can say that absolute zero is the temperature of a substance or a material in which its particle is not being able to move. Okay. Or the absolute temperature is a temperature our absolute zero is the temperature of a material in which their atoms becomes stationary or they are not energized anymore, okay? That temperature of the object or material is what's so-called absolute zero temperature. 
Its value is minus 273 degree centigrade and this temperature scale is called Kelvin scale. Okay. Minus 273 degree centigrade is what so called a zero Kelvin scale. Okay. If you put this, then that will give you the zero Kelvin scale. The Kelvin scale will start from minus 273 degree centigrade. And for scientific work, it is more convenient to use a Kelvin scale to get the accurate result. Because why we are using Kelvin scale? Because there is a wide range of temperatures. So that's why we were using the Kelvin scale. The other two uh, temperature scales have not enough uh, space to use there. So that's why we were using the Kelvin scale there. Okay, boiling and freezing temperature of water on different scales. On the Fahrenheit scale, the water will freezes at 32 degree centigrade Fahrenheit and it will boil at 212 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so in Fahrenheit scale, it will start from 32 and it will end at 212. 32 degree Fahrenheit is the freezing point of water and 212 is the boiling point of water. The 273 degree Kelvin is equals to the zero degree centigrade. If you can clearly see here, then this is also called the 273 Kelvin. And if you convert this in centigrade, so it will start from zero. Means uh, in Kelvin scale, you will start from 273, but in centigrade, you will start from zero. And if you move to the 373, then that will be equals to the 100 degree centigrade. So this is what's so called the scale conversion. You have to remember this in your mind that 273 Kelvin will equals to zero degree centigrade and 373 Kelvin is equals to 100 degree centigrade. This is a, your book page. Uh, I explain all these things in detail. The temperature, what is the temperature? Temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness. Our temperature means something, how hot or cold something is. There are three different scales used in temperature. Okay, these are so-called uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and what time? What? Okay. That's for two time. Cent uh, Celsius, centigrade, and Fahrenheit. Okay. Now, what is the absolute zero temperature? The absolute zero temperature is the lowest possible temperature. Okay, that is what's so-called absolute zero temperature. And the calculated temperature is minus 273 is the lowest possible temperature. Why it is so-called uh, absolute zero? Because at that temperature, the movement of the particles of the material will stop. Okay, so that's why it is what's so-called absolute zero temperature. How we can find the temperature? We will using a device that is what's so-called a thermometer. Thermometer is used there in for measuring the temperature. Okay, international system of unit SI is used around the world. Around the world, we were using the system international units. Okay, so there are seven basic units in the SI system, and these are length, mass, temperature, time, amount of substance, electric current, and luminous intensity or intensity of light is also called. So these are the seven basic units and temperature is one of them. The unit we were using there in System International is Kelvin, okay? And its symbol is K. So you have to remember these things in your mind. Now come towards the last thing that is what's so called a time. What is a time? Time can measure with stop clock or stop watch, okay? And second, our minutes are used for time. Commonly, it is used in science. This is what's so called a stop watch, okay? This is what's so called for a certain duration, uh, we were using the stop 
watch is there. The standard unit of time is second. Okay, or uh, this is what so called the smallest unit, and the multiple units are uh, minutes and hours. In one minute, there are sixty seconds, and in one hour, there are sixty minutes, and in one day, there are twenty-four hours. Okay, so you have to familiar with all these things. Now it's time to review. Who will define mass? Yes, come on. Sir, can uh, I? Sir, can I? Shahab Mughal. Mass is the amount of matter in something. Mass is amount. Uh, mass is the amount of matter something is. Yes. Very good. Very nice. What is the Thank unit you, of? Sir. What is the unit of mass? Sir, so I will ask this Nabi? question. This question from Muhammad Ibrahim. Yes, Muhammad Ibrahim. What is the unit of mass? Um, weighing scale and electric balance. Oh, no, I'm asking about the unit of mass. Kilogram and gram. Very good. Kilograms and grams are the units of mass. Okay. Uh, who will define temperature? Raise your hands. Can you hear me, Jawad Nawid? Jawad Nawid. Yes. Sir, can how much something um temperature of something can be found by using the thermometer? Okay, temperature is the uh temperature is defined as how hot or cold something is. Okay, and what is the unit of temperature? Uh, I will ask this question from uh Sanaullah Basi. Sanaullah Basi will yes, answer sir. this. Yes. Uh, what are the unit of temperature? Yes. The unit of temperature are degrees. Ah. Yes. Uh -huh. Celsius. Yes. Uh, Kelvin. Very good. And Fahrenheit. Okay. Degree Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvins are the units of temperature. Okay, sir. Okay. Very good. Who will define absolute zero? And I will ask this question from. Uh, sir, can I? Sorry, sorry, we'll answer this. Sorry. The Lord oh, possible sir. temperature of power absolute zero by that two hundred seventy three degrees Celsius. Okay, very good. And what is the value of the absolute zero of Celsius scale? I will ask this question from uh, Adil Salman. Yes, what is the value of the absolute zero? Adil Salman, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the value of the absolute zero? Huh? 273 degrees Celsius. 273 degrees Celsius minus, minus. Two, minus, minus 273 degrees minus Celsius two, is the value of the absolute zero. And that equals to the 273. So I Zero. Okay. 100 degrees. 273. This is not correct. I have to correct them. I'm sorry for inconvenience. This will be 100 degrees centigrade. Okay. What is the unit of time? Yes. Sir, what? stop. Sir, the, can stop clock. the unit of time is second second minutes. Minutes and hours. Second minutes and hours. Okay. This is the test yourself on page One. five. Okay. You have to uh, do this by yourself. This is an activity. Uh, you have to perform this activity. Sir, and you have to submit this activity till weekend. That is Thursday. Okay. So we have to send you send in group question answers. We are asking. I will send. I will send. I will send. Sir, we will make a chat in PowerPoint or in on paper. What is the pay number of all tests? Sir, we have to 